Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed. And we bring our hands together at our hearts and we say our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. Now, shall we find out who our story is about today? Yes? Let's look through the cosminoculars. Bringing your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. <gasps> wow! Would you look at that? It's so pretty. Goodness me! Can you see the picture? Can you see what it is? <gasps> it's a silver fox! It's Fernando, the silver fox oh. of the night. Look, he's doing <laughs> yoga. Fernando's doing aeroplane pose. Oh, Fernando, he's very good at showing us what the dark is all about and so we don't have to be scared of it anymore. Right, let's get ready for a nighttime adventure with Fernando the Silver Fox. We want to be able to see in all directions so we get our necks warmed up. We look all the way down and all the way up. All the way down and all the way up. Coming back to the middle, we look over one shoulder and over the other shoulder. Over one shoulder, over the other shoulder. And back to the middle again. We tilt our ear towards our shoulder. Hmm, hmm. And we come back to the middle. We tilt our ear to the other shoulder. And yes, there we go, getting a lovely stretch round our necks. Then we go round in a circle, all the way round one way, and round in a circle, all the way round the other way. There, now we've got a nice warm neck. Time to make a sandwich, I think, for a midnight snack later. We put our legs out long and we butter our bread. Ready? Butter, butter, butter. Butter, butter, butter. Bit more. Butter, butter, butter. Tiny bit more. Butter, butter, butter. There, that's probably enough butter. Arms out wide. We're going to twist round and get something really healthy for our sandwich. Let's get some cucumber. Crunchy cucumber. We twist around, get the cucumber and we go chop, 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 chop. Mmm, lovely. Now we take our arms out wide again and let's get some squishy tomatoes. Mmm, we twist around and get our squishy tomatoes and we go squish, 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 squish. Done! We lift our arms up nice and tall, bending our knees a little bit so we can put the top slice of bread on our sandwich. There, now we're ready. We cross our legs and we lean over one way to get a torch to put in our backpack. We reach behind us and pop it in, using our other hand to help it go inside. Then we reach over the other way for our cosminoculars and we put our cosminoculars in our backpack as well, using our hand to help them in. There. Now, we're ready to go. We just need to wait until it gets dark enough. So we hide in bed. Coming to your bottom, bend your knees, feet flat. Hands behind your bottom. Lift yourself up into a bed shape. We need to be as quiet as a mouse. Shh. Coming onto your knees, tuck yourself down into a little mouse shape. And breathe slowly until it gets dark. <sighs> Let's have a look and see if it's dark enough. We wiggle forward onto our tummy. 
put our hands underneath our shoulders and lift ourselves up to have a look out the window and oh, yes, it's really dark now. Time to go. We tiptoe down the stairs very quietly. Shh. We get to the bottom and then we put on our boots. Lifting up one foot, trying not to wobble. We put on one boot Ooh. and we put on another boot. Let's lift up the other leg, trying not to wobble. Ooh. There, two boots. We lift up one hand, we put on our glove, twiddling our wrist around in a circle. Then we put on our other glove, twiddling our other wrist around in a circle. Finally, we wrap up warm in a big warm coat. Hmm. There, now we're ready to go outside. Coming to your knees, we open the gate very quietly. Take your leg out to the side and lift your arm up to the sky. Open the gate. Bring your knees back to the middle again and take your other leg out to the other side. We close the gate, lifting your arm. Ooh. Right, we're ready to go. We're outside. Yay! Ah, oh, but it starts to rain. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. All over us. We're getting really wet. And the mud is getting really squadgy. Coming to the side, take a big muddy step. Squidge. And let's take another one. Squadge. Into the woods. We come to a big hollow tree. <gasps> Standing tall, put one foot on top of the other and your hands together at your heart. Grow your tree up tall and, hmm, I think it's time for the tree test. Are you feeling strong or wibbly wobbly? Let me see. I'll try and blow you down and let's see whether you fall over. Ready? <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. I can never blow you down. You're very, very strong indeed. Let's try the other foot. Coming back, put the other foot on top this time. Hands together at your heart. Grow your tree up tall and... Let me see. Can I do it this time round, I wonder? I'll try and blow you down again. Ready? <gasps> oh, I couldn't blow you down again. Goodness me. Oh, you are a very strong tree. Now, this tree is where Fernando the silver fox lives. It's his house. Jump your feet wide. Hands above your head, making a house shape. And here he is darting out of his house like a very sleek silver fox. Come to your knees. He takes out one arm and one leg and darts. Then he takes out another arm, another leg and darts. He says, Buenas noches, amigos. Come with me. I will show you how amazing the dark can be. Oh, this sounds exciting. And off we go, trotting with Fernando. Trot, 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 trot. It's fun being out in the dark with Fernando the Silver Fox. And the moon is huge in the sky. A big full moon beaming down on us. So it's not that dark at all, actually. He leads us to a very dark looking cave. Hmm. Hands down, tuck your toes, lift your bottom and make a cave shape. There look to be some rather big, scary shadows in this cave and we're not sure about them. We sit ourselves down and tuck ourselves up into a little ball. Oh, rubbing our ears because we're a little bit scared of the dark, especially big, scary shadows that we think are monsters. Fernando says, Amigo, do not be afraid. Open your eyes and have a look. It is nothing to be scared of. So we open our eyes. And sure enough, it's not a big scary monster. It's a little bat hanging upside down from the top of the cave. Oh, standing up, turning around. Take your legs wide and bend all the way forwards. Putting your hands down on the floor so you can look through your legs. Yay! Hello, I'm Bot the Bat. I'm just practising hanging him upside down from the ceiling of the cave. We give him a little wave and a smile. Cheese!
Nose. Ah, uh, he wasn't a scary thing at all, just a little bat. Fernando says, come, we must go to have more fun in the dark. And off we go to the lake. Sitting on our bottoms, we bring our feet together, making a big wide diamond shape with our feet and our legs. We look down into the lake and <gasps> what's that? We can hear clumpy, clumpy footsteps <gasps> and they're coming this way. Ah! <laughs> Taking your legs out wide, holding your ankles. What could it be, we wonder? A big scary monster? Clump, 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 clump. Maybe a dinosaur. Clump, 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 clump. Oh no, it's going to eat us. We hug ourselves up into a little ball again and give our ears a rub. Oh! Fernando says, amigo, do not be afraid. Open up your eyes and take a look. Nothing to be afraid of. So we do. And sure enough, he's right. It's not a big scary monster, it's Twilight, the unicorn of dreams. Oh, coming up onto one knee, everybody. Bring your arms up tall and... Like Twilight, the unicorn of dreams. She wouldn't be able to spread her starshine for good dreams unless it was dark, so she needs the dark. She bows her horn. Ooh. And off she goes. Phew, again, something we didn't need to be afraid of in the dark. Just Twilight, the unicorn of dreams. Fernando leads us to a crooked branch for a little rest. We lie down on the ground and put our arms out wide. We bend our knees and take them over to one side, like a crooked branch, and then over to the other side, like a crooked branch. We decide to share our midnight snack. Remember, our sandwich with Fernando the Silver Fox while we rest here. Sitting up, crossing your legs. Mmm, we're ready for our sandwich. Mmm, we eat it up. Mmm, nom, 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 nom. And we rub a hand on our tummies and pat our heads at the same time. Well done, everybody. All of a sudden, the ground starts to rumble and shake. Oh no, what could it be? We're going to get swallowed whole. Oh no, it's the dark. Ah! We're so scared, we give ourselves a hug again and we close our eyes and rub our ears. Fernando says, Amigo, open your eyes. Nothing to be afraid of. Take a look. And sure enough, out of the ground pops a little mole. Hmm. On your tummies, hands under your shoulders, he wiggles up out of the ground. Hello? What? Sorry. Am I in the wrong place? Oh, all right. I'll go back then. Bye. And he wiggles back into his little hole. So, yes, we didn't need to be afraid of the little mole. Huh. Amigo, it is time for you to go home. I hope you have enjoyed your time in the dark. Punch it in. Ooh, OK. We just punched it in with Fernando the Silver Fox. But before you go, you go with my friend, the Tooth Fairy. She needs the dark as well. Of course, the Tooth Fairy. And here she comes, standing up. She flutters in. Ah, fluttering her fairy wings. She lands gracefully oh, on one leg and twiddles around in a circle. Ah, oh, we're going to go home with the Tooth Fairy. We can't wait. Bye, Fernando. We take the Tooth Fairy's hand and we fly, lifting ourselves up, gliding through the air, trying not to wobble. Yay! Seeing if we can swap our legs now as well, lifting up the other leg. Wow! It's amazing flying with the Tooth Fairy. Of course, she needs the dark to make her work as well. So, the dark is never as bad as we think. We arrive back at our house and we land on our windowsill. Oh, oh. 
She opens the window and we creep inside. She blows us a kiss. And inside, our room is still. We come to sit and notice the dark all around us. We can see our toys, all our things, and our big comfy bed, which is calling us. We get into our comfy bed and get ourselves long and relaxed, lying all the way back. Ah, <sighs> the dark's not that bad. We've realised so many things about it today with our wonderful story with Fernando, the silver fox of the night. He's the coolest fox in the world. And the night is pretty special. If it wasn't for the dark, there would be no tooth fairy. There would be no Santa Claus. <gasps> now we realise how special the dark is. How magical it is. How wonderful. It gives us time to rest. What a lovely story. We start to wake up again, wiggling our fingers and our toes, letting our wrists come around and our ankles come around in a circle. We bring our knees up to our chest and have a little hug with them. We roll over onto our side and start to sit up. Ah, coming back to our cross leg position, just as we started, with our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started, with our secret yoga code word. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. That was amazing. I hope you're never afraid of the dark again, because it's not as scary as we think. Well done. I'll see you all next time for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. <laughs>